Retention must be there. You should have told us if there, and then, then why did you? If you had retention guarantee, one DG, which is equal to cash, then in your financial statements, note number five, how much was it? The guarantee was how much, and which bank did that retention guarantee is? If you give me that answer, chair, I will raise my case. But so long as it, then the retention money was not there, somebody had the retention money. Because if re retention guarantee is the same as cash, let's assume I have a guarantee of one billion, which is equal to cash. And then in your financial statements, you are saying there is no payables and there is no retention. So on this project chair, how much m guarantee, which is equal to cash, was in this, and you refused to disclose in your financial statement. So how much was it? Which bank did it hold? Because you have said local banks. Yes, Baradiji, and I would want... So, Chair, I was explaining that uh, there is a retention. The issue that is raised on the financial statements, perhaps, Chair, this is something that we could be given an opportunity to respond to, whether written or verbal or we appear again, because I, 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 I honestly don't have it readily with me. I think let's, let's go with that direction, because also the Chair. Senator had requested Chair. the same, yes. and we Chair. move to the next Chair, question. Chair, did you indulge 30 seconds? Then you agree with me that there was no retention money, there was no retention guarantee, there was because retention guarantee. the financial statement is your heart. It is like the grand. You will give that financial. submission to the committee, and that particular time, that's yes. when we will rule to that, whether there was, whether there wasn't. Now you cannot, we cannot tell him to go and bring us an answer, and we are already telling him the 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 answer to the question that we we ask him. We <laughs> already know that there is no guarantee. Why should he come? But he's saying he wants to come. No, but, but you're saying there's no guarantee. So where, where do we need him to come? Then, Secondly, then, Chair, I'm happy because the committee has agreed with me that there was no retention money, there was no retention guarantee. But as Kenha, in your proposal, how much have you requested to be put in the budget uh, uh, for such in the coming financial year? Because I believe every government agency will do their proposals then after we hear your proposal then we will have the CS now to come here and tell us how much money that he is requesting so that he can compensate these people and uh, the people of Kiambu the people of Western Bypass because this is 1.3 billion actually is 1.4 billion and uh, the 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 water department also owes the people of Kiambu again on land acquisition another 1.4 billion. That is 2.8 billion that is owed by government to my people. Bills and these extrapolated from counties must be the first charge. That is the law. So even if you are to get 100 million today to Kenya, they must try to offset 1.3 billion that is owed to the people affected in Kiambu County. So it is not a luxury that you can say since there is a road construction that is requiring two billion and you have a pending bill of two billion, you will say let two billion stay, then I will pay pending bill later. It's the first charge in terms of this I, I, I think um, on that issue, um, the CS uh, for transport will be uh, best to answer that. But in line with that, as, uh, as Kenha, but as Kenha, in your proposal, how much have you requested to be put in the budget uh, uh, for such in the coming financial year? Because I believe every government agency will do their proposals. Then, after we hear your proposal, then we will have the CS now to come here and tell us how much money that he is requesting so that he can compensate these people and uh, the people of Kiambu, the people of Western Bypass. Because this is 1.3 billion, actually it's 1.4 billion. And uh, the, the, the water department also owes the people of Kiambu again on land acquisition another 1.4 billion. That is 2.8 billion that is owed by government to my people. But anyway, that was just for informational purposes. But uh, how much have you requested?
Yeah, for more information, because I can't pass this opportunity. Um, you know, you know, if you are going to acquire private land or private property for public use, yes, compensation is supposed to be prompt. So five years down the line, we have people who are whose land has been taken, and those who are supposed to be told now, you relax. You know, there is a road that is serving you. But now, it's, 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 it's hurting them, many, many years down the line. That conversation, Chair, on pending bills is a conversation that I would, I would interest this committee to consider having a substantive conversation with the CS. So that, even if it means then we stop, we stop new developments and first clear the backlog of, of especially people who are affected by, by, by projects, that, that would really be a good thing. In okay. Fact, Chair, to uh, add that, under Article 40, and I'm giving free legal advice, is uh, it must be prompt and within market value. So your people, the house that they they demolished during this Western Pipers was five to six years ago. It might have been worth 40 million. So you are paying them five years later, and the constitution says prompt and with market value. So.